In order to unravel the mysteries of the gecko's foot, it was necessary to be able to measure the sticking power of one single hair from it. And to do that, you needed the techniques borrowed from the most advanced physics, like these. The results were astonishing. They discovered that theoretically, a gecko walking upside down on the ceiling could support a backpack weighing 90 pounds. The huge adhesive strength comes from the structure of tiny velvety hairs on each of a gecko's feet. Scientists simply hadn't been looking closely enough. All was finally revealed under the most powerful microscope. A gecko's foot is covered in half a million hairs called CT. Each is much, much finer than human hair. Further magnification shows that at the tip of each hair, there are even smaller fibers called spatulae. 10 million would fit on a pinhead. Each gecko foot has more than a billion of these split ends. There are intermolecular forces at work here. At this level of intimacy, the molecules from both the gecko and the surface become charged and are attracted to one another. Not exactly magnetism, more like a molecular embrace. Indeed, the contact is so close that in a sense, the gecko almost becomes part of the object it's sticking to. But finding out about the CT and the spatulae is only half the story. It was discovered that if the gecko is to stay on, it has to place its feet in a very precise way. If I revolve this one on a sheet of perspex, it has to continually readjust the position of its feet if it's to stay on. And if I revolved it very quickly, it wouldn't have time to do so and would almost certainly drop off.